how to grow leads through running live events, such as mini seminars. Now, the problem with a lot of small businesses these days is when you look at their websites, there's nothing there. There's rarely even a picture of the person running the business, let alone anything else. And you wonder why they're struggling to even bother getting by. You know, they're having to do cold calling, they're having to employ in experts and everything, when in fact they can solve the problem directly themselves. And if you're one of those business owners, I'm speaking to you today. Here's how you can run live events, such as many seminars, to promote your business. And if you get good at this, you're going to make a lot of money out of doing what you're already doing right now. Here's how it works. First of all, why on earth would you do it? Running a an information session, mini seminar event is a little bit of work. Yes, it is a little bit of work. It may inv even involve public speaking. Yes, of course it does. It involves public speaking. It may even involve you getting out in front of a bunch of people and speaking to them for the first time rather than people one-on-one. -on -one. However, it does have some major benefits. Let me tell you what it is. By running a a mini seminar event, you're going to get lead generation. In other words, people are going to come to you directly. And even if you've got people that are on your file or on your email list that haven't spoken to you in ages, this gives them a chance to come in and check you out. Secondly, it's going to give you a credibility factor. When you run an event, you're the authority. You're the one who is expounding your wisdom that you've earned over the years and you're giving people direct solutions via your spoken word directly at the event. And that gives you another important thing, and that is a connection with your target audience. They're going to believe you a lot more because they can see you. And if they see you, they're likely to take action. And if we get a little bit further deeper into this, you're going to get better at articulating your story you're going to gain some valuable feedback, not hearsay, some valuable feedback on what they like and what they don't like about your product or service. And this might be vital stuff for you because if you do need to make changes, how are you going to do that if you don't talk to people? And if you only talk to them maybe on the phone or at a mega distance, you're not going to understand or hear the beat of the drums to find out what's going on in your product or service or your industry. As a direct result of this, yes, a big payoff will be sales orders directly via your event. And it will lower the barrier that your customers have connecting with you. It'll lower the barrier there that they'll be able to say, mm, you know, they don't want to have to deal with a smoke screen of ways how to deal with you, you know, like phoning you up or waiting for someone, a salesperson to call around to their office or whatever they want to actually connect with you directly. And this way, you're giving them that, that opportunity to say, hey, look, here I am, I'm available, ask me anything about my product or service, and I'll answer it for you right here and now. Matter of fact, I'll show you how it even works, I'll do a demo, we'll get some questions answered here, and then if you like what we're, we, we've got here today, we can move to the next stage, and I can help you do a quote or whatever it is for your business. As a result of doing this also, you build up a history if someone's looking at you from the outside for the first time and they see that you run all of these events and there's lots of pictures on your website and maybe the odd video or two, they'll say, hmm, maybe I can deal with this person. They've got a history of actually helping people. So here's how it works. Here's how you can make history with your business. An example here is doing a lunchtime presentation. So you start off with a registration at 11.45. At 12 noon, you make a start to the main body of your talk and do a demo right then and there. Maybe explain to them via charts or you've got the actual product directly there on the desk and you actually demonstrate it. And then maybe say at 1 o'clock, you give a short break because people can only take in a certain amount of info. And if you don't give them that break, they're not going to digest it and move to the next step. So you need to give them a little bit of a break. They might need to go to the bathroom. They might need to take a drink of a cup of coffee or a cold drink or something from the back of the room. Help them. Make them feel welcome. Make them feel like, hey, these are your guests. Then at 
10 minutes past one, you get straight back into it and you give the rest of your talk, the second body of your talk. And at 1.40, you finish that talk and move them to the second stage. So it might be to get a quote, it might be to make a meeting, it might be able to say, yes, how can we deliver this product to you? Whatever that is, you make it, you say that check my staff at the back of the room or wait for me after this talk and we'll move this to the next step for you. And then at two o'clock, everything closes and everybody parts and goes their separate way and goes back to their office or wherever they are. So what's the secret of making this work? Well, it all boils down to what's known as conversion rates, as in, say if you've got, example, you've got 30 people in the room, which is probably a nice comfortable figure that might come to your office and you can probably accommodate them quite easily there. So as a result of having 30 people, how much money can you make? Now, once again, I'm only throwing around here an example figure here. 30 people attend. If 10% buy, that's 3% of three people take action. Uh, you got a 10% conversion rate. If it's 30 people attend, 10 people take action, you've got a 33% conversion rate. And that can be a goal for you to aim for getting 33% to take action if you get good at this, and if you do it a few months in a row, you will get good at this. You've just got to stick to it long enough. And maybe, just maybe, if you stick to it long enough and you get really good at it and your backroom office get good at it, you get better at running the ads, you get better at running your social media, you get better at attracting the right people to show up at the, the event, you practically know that maybe if you've been doing this for, say, 10 months down the track, that you know that whoever shows up, you've probably got a uh, maybe a, an 80% chance that you're going to sell to them. And that can happen if you stick to it. It really can. Just imagine whatever the product is that you've got. Let me give you a good for instance here of what this can look like as an example. Say, for example, you've got a $1,000 product, 10% buy out of 30 people. That's $3,000 sold. That's a pretty good result. Not bad. You're just getting going, you're training your wheels going, and you're learning how to speak and take in that feedback and make the adjustments along the way. Okay. You've done it a little while, 33% convert, you're up to 10,000 sold. Um, a bit further down the track, maybe say the end of the year, you're getting up to 66% conversion rate, and you're selling 20 people in the room, and you've got 20K sold. Now, once again, I'm only throwing around example type figures. Whatever your product is, just put that in the, in, the, uh, in the spreadsheet and work it out yourself. But I'm doing this to emphasize an incentive for you for improving what you're doing and getting into it. Because the more you get into it, the better you'll get at it. And you'll feel really good inside once you deliver this. Just imagine that. Now, how do you convert more? Now, if you stick to me right at the end, I'm glad that you've stuck with me this far. I've got a suggestion for what to do next that will help you dramatically improve your results. In fact, a whole video devoted just to this purpose, which I did as a live interview a number of weeks ago. But it boils down to three things on how you can actually convert more at your seminars. First of all, and this may be obvious, practice your talk often. The more you practice it, the better you'll get. And of course, with all that feedback that you're getting from your audience, you're going to get better and better and better and better. Two, stick to your main goal. If you stick to your main goal, imagine what that's going to do. Also, three, work on your belief and your mindset. The more you work on your belief and your mindset, the better it's going to be for you. Now, if you like this, please look at the links below and contact me because I run seminars like this and I can help you generate better results with your seminars. So check in the links below and join up to my davidnewtonevents.com website and I'll keep you informed and I'll be happy to consult with you to show you what to do next and how to do this in your own business. And before you go, remember to like and subscribe and look at this next video. This is vital if you want to improve what you're doing next. So like and subscribe and look at this next video. This is David Newton speaking. I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye for now.